Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2019 miniseries called Falling in Love. The series opens up with the main character, Kong Parong, who tries his best to ask a number of girls out, but ends up getting rejected by all of them. Because of this, Kong believes that he will be single forever and will never have a girlfriend. The girls at his school keep rejecting him because Kong's childhood friend, Lee Shi Wan, has liked him for a long time, so she warns other girls to stay away from him. Though Lee likes Kong, she has never expressed her feelings in front of him. But despite this, the whole school knows about it. In the next scene, Kong takes advice from his friend Kim Jiang and approaches Lee. He then confesses his feelings for her, but surprisingly, Lee replies that she does not like him. Hearing this, Kong becomes upset and confused. Lee was his last hope to have a girlfriend, but it also failed miserably. The following day, Kong wakes up late and reluctantly goes to school. He is scared to face Lee and is worried that she may tell others about their confrontation. On his way, he types a message for Lee, asking her not to tell anybody about what happened between them the previous day. Suddenly, when he reaches the downstairs, he notices Lee walking out of her house. Seeing this, he hides behind some flowers and accidentally, the message he typed gets sent to Lee. Here, it is revealed that Lee and Kong are actually neighbors. Later, even though Kong wastes his time and boards the school bus late, he is still on the same bus with Lee. He tries to use his card to pay for the bus, but fails, prompting his friend to pay for him. On the bus, there is another boy who is rude and arrogant. In the background, Kong mentions that the boy only talks to him and is the topper of the class. He is very popular in school and most of the girls are crazy for him. Kong further narrates that the boy's name is Lee Shi Yan, who belongs to a rich family and is the CR of their class. When Kong is about to fall to the floor, Shi Yan grabs him by the hair and prevents him from getting hurt. After reaching school, Kong talks to his best friend Kim and tells him everything about how Lee ignored and rejected him. Kim suggests he worry less and focus more on himself. At the same time, he is surprised to hear that Kang gathered enough courage to ask out a girl of his choice. He then asks if his feelings for Lee are really true. Hearing this, Kong remembers his childhood when he and Lee used to spend their time together. He also remembers his friends approaching him and informing him that Lee actually likes him. Back to the present, Kong replies with a yes and asks for suggestions about how he can approach Lee again. Suddenly, Xi'an arrives and snatches away Kong's soft drink. All of this is being observed by Lee from a distance. The scene then flashes back in time when Lee did not invite Kong to her birthday, despite inviting all of her classmates. She mentions that she did all this to make Kong free from separation anxiety. But sadly, whenever she left Kong alone, he went to Shi Eon looking for company. Because of this, at present, Lee looks angrily at Shi Eon fighting with Kong and walks away. In the following scene, Kong is suffering from loose motion and is desperately searching for a bathroom. Unfortunately, while he is on his way, Lee emerges in front of him. Embarrassed, Kong changes his direction. To make matters worse, Kim announces to everyone that Kong has actually shit his pants. Later, Kim promises Kong that he will set him up with a girl very soon. At night, when Kong is at his home, someone knocks at his door and he assumes it to be Lee. Without looking at the person, Kong asks her why she doesn't like him. Unfortunately, the one standing outside is Shi Yan, and he is surprised to hear this coming from Kong. It turns out that Kim tried to help his friend by sending a girl named Shi Wan to Kong's house, but ended up sending Shi Yan. The next day, Kong attacks Kim for the trouble he created the previous day. He then reveals that he likes Shi Wan and not Shi Yan. Meanwhile, Shi Yan is approached by a girl who hands him a bouquet and a letter. Rudely, after the girl leaves, Shi Yan throws the bouquet in the trash can and walks away. However, Lee, whose duty it is to clean the area, confronts him and asks him to read the letter. Shi Eon picks up the letter and goes inside the classroom. After school ends, as Lee is angry with Kong, she stands aside to make him feel alone. However, she knows that he has separation anxiety, so she reluctantly accompanies him home. On their way, Kong realizes that Lee has been by his side since childhood and that he doesn't want to lose her. He then asks Lee to forget about his love proposal and decides to be only friends with her. Lee, on the other hand, is sad to hear this because she has liked him for eternity. In the next scene, Kong tries solving a mathematical question but gets it wrong. He discusses the answer with Shi Eon and becomes sad after finding that he is the only one with the wrong answer in the class. Moments later, while having lunch, Kong asks him to hang out together in the evening. But sadly, the latter refuses, stating that he needs to go to work. On the other hand, Lee also mentions that she has to study as the exam is approaching. Suddenly, a beautiful girl, Young Che Su, approaches them, and seeing her, Shi Eon runs away without finishing his lunch. Young sits beside the girls and inquires about Shi Eon. Surprisingly, everyone tells her that they haven't seen him. Next, when Lee is making her way to the library to study, Shi Eon appears in front of her, startling the life out of her. Right then, Lee feels uneasy and asks him to check her temperature. 
Shi-Yan tries to help, but ends up hitting her on the forehead. As a result, Lee calls him a psychopath and leaves. Meanwhile, Kong is at the comic book store where Kim works part-time. He orders several food items in Kim's name and enjoys it sitting there. Just then, a beautiful girl approaches him and gives him her number. Kong assumes that she wants her number to be given to Shi Eon, or Kim. But when the girl tells him that the number is for him, he is shocked. Later, he tells Kim about the incident and mentions that someone in the world has a heart that likes him. Elsewhere, while reading in the library, Lee does not feel well, so she decides to take a short nap. A few hours later when she wakes up, she notices that everyone has left except for Shi Eon. Lee tries to talk to him, but he does not reply. After completing the study, both of them prepare to go home. Realizing that Lee is sick, Shi Eon decides to walk her home. But when Lee asks him about it, he lies that he is going to meet Kong. At the same time, Kong is messaging the girl who gave him the number from before. To his surprise, the girl asks him out on a date. The following day at school, Kong excitedly tells Kim about his date, but the latter warns him to be aware of organ-selling girls. Shi Eon also says the same, making Kong angry. In the next scene, as Kong is getting ready for the date, he has problems choosing what to wear. So, he goes outside Lee's house and calls her out. He then asks her about what he should wear. Being the good friend that she is, Lee replies that he doesn't look good in a shirt, so he should wear a hoodie and a pair of jeans. Before departing, Lee asks him where he is going, but Kong lies to her that he is heading to an internet cafe. Lee obviously knows that he is lying, but does not react because she is not feeling well. She then returns to her room and rests on her bed. Surprisingly, Kong joins her and inquires about her health, much to the latter's delight. The following day, Kong also suffers from a cold, and when Kim asks him about his date, he replies that he didn't go. Shocked, Kim asks him about the reason, to which Kong replies that he had some important business to take care of. At the same time, it is revealed that Kong actually took care of Lee the whole night and stayed beside her. Shi Eon also arrives and hands over some survey papers that he filled out for Kim. Next, Kim is called to the teacher's office as he is found skipping multiple dinner sessions. When the teacher confronts him, Kim replies that he did so because his father died a few years back and now he has to take care of his family. Hearing this, the teacher gets emotional and supports him. Unfortunately, when Kim is walking out of the office, Young is standing at the door and it appears as if she heard his conversation with the teacher. Elsewhere, Kong and Lee are sitting together and discussing their plans to surprise Shi Eon on his birthday. The two skip their lunch breaks and go to a bakery to buy a cake and a present for Shi Eon. Kim is tasked to bring Shi Eon to the terrace of the school building. Unfortunately, when Kim follows the plan, Young also arrives there to return his wristband. One thing leads to another, and Shi Eon ends up scolding Young for ruining his celebration. After the incident, Lee approaches Shi Eon and yells at him, calling him selfish and rude. As soon as she says this, Shi Yan becomes angry and comes closer to her. He then claims he will show her what being selfish really means. Seeing them get closer, Kim drops the cake on the floor and keeps staring at them. At the same time, Kong also arrives there, and as a result, Shi Eon does not get enough time to express his feelings and leaves. Here, we are shown some flashbacks that reveal Shi Eon has a major crush on Lee. This explains why he has befriended Kong to simply get closer to Lee. The next morning is a holiday, and Shi Eon can be seen standing outside Lee's house. Shortly after, she opens the door and is taken aback to see him there. Shi Eon then asks her to accompany him to work, and later takes her to an elementary school to look after the children. On the other hand, Kong visits Kim's workplace and meets Hee Soo, the same girl who gave him the number from before. She asks Kong why he didn't show for the date, to which he replies that he was busy. During work, Shi Eon and Lee find a boy waiting for his brother to take him home. As it starts getting late, Shi Eon asks for the boy's brother's number and calls him. Surprisingly, the number turns out to be Kim's, revealing that the boy is actually his brother. Shi Eon then carries the boy on his back and takes him to his brother. Unfortunately, when the duo arrive at Kim's place, Kong and Hee Su walk out, creating an awkward moment between them. Lee and Kong become upset, seeing each other with a different partner. Following this, we are shown a flashback of Kong's childhood when his mother used to leave him alone at home while going to work. From that time onwards, Kong develops separation anxiety. Back to the present, Kong looks at his computer and gets afraid after noticing something. In the next scene, Kong arrives at school with a pale face, and seeing this, Kim asks him if everything is okay. Kong reveals that his gaming ID has been hacked. Hearing this, Kim makes fun of him and suggests he remain calm. However, Kong becomes even more depressed and starts roaming around the school with a sad face. Lee notices him in this state and decides it's her duty to cheer him up. She then decides to bunk her classes and take Kong out for some fun. Sadly, when Lee approaches him, she finds him talking to Hee Soo, causing her to get upset and return home, heartbroken. 
On the other hand, Kong goes to a gaming hub with Hee Soo, but feels disheartened after seeing her lack of interest in playing games and watching movies. He then instantly starts missing Lee, who used to play games with him and accompany him to the cinema. Meanwhile, Shi Yan goes to meet Lee and asks her about what happened. Lee starts crying and reveals that she noticed Kong with another girl. Hearing this, Shi Yan suddenly walks up to her and kisses her. Elsewhere, Hu Si also kisses Kong, leaving him perplexed. One week passes by and Lee is still embarrassed about what happened between her and Shi Yan. She keeps avoiding him and hides whenever she notices him around. On the other hand, He Su does not reply to Kong's texts and calls, leaving him confused and worried. All of a sudden, when Kong goes to the medical room of the school to take a rest, he meets Lee sleeping inside. He asks her if she is ill, to which Lee replies that she is fine and is simply feeling a bit off. Kong then sits beside her and starts sharing his relationship woes. Although Lee is heartbroken to hear all this, she still suggests he be patient and wait for her reply. Meanwhile, Young is returning home when she notices he's Sue talking with her friends. During her conversation, she mentions that she is using Kong to get closer to Shi Yan. As soon as Young hears this, she confronts he's Sue and asks her to stay away from Shi Yan, making it clear that she likes him. As expected, this doesn't sit well with the group, and they start bullying her. But before things can get out of hand, Kim arrives at the scene and starts taking some pictures of the bullies. He then threatens to send them to the police, prompting the girls to chase after him while allowing Young to escape. Elsewhere, Shi Eon gets into an altercation with some boys, but Lee arrives in the nick of time and saves him. However, instead of being thankful, Shi Eon tells her to leave him alone before storming away. The next day, Shi Eon realizes his mistake and tries his best to get closer to Lee and woo her. On the other hand, Young meets up with Kim and reveals that Hu Si is just using Kong to get closer to Shi Yan. She also tells Kim not to tell Kong anything, as he seems upset enough due to personal problems. Later at night, Lee visits Kong's room to bring him a delicious meal her mother has prepared. After entering his room, she finds a sketchbook and asks Kong whose picture he has drawn. Though all the sketches were of Lee, he lies that they were of other girls, making her feel sad. In the following scene, the teachers inform the seniors that they are going on a hiking trip. Hearing this, all the boys become sad and start blaming each other for choosing hiking instead of an amusement park. However, it turns out that Shi Yan caused the change when he found out that Lee's class is going hiking. The scene then shifts to the day when all the students have arrived at the hiking spot. At first, Kong thinks he can easily climb the hill and become first, but in reality, he becomes the first one tired and gets left behind by the others. After walking some distance, Lee realizes that Kong hasn't arrived and decides to go back and find him. However, she is stopped by Shi Yan, who tells her that he will go look for Kong. Moments later, Shi Yan notices Kong resting and asks him to continue hiking. Sadly, Kong has no energy left in him, and once again, he is left behind. Shortly after, when he again does not arrive, Lee returns back and begins searching for him. She eventually finds him resting and helps him walk. On the other hand, an upset Shi Yan leaves the hike and returns home after informing his teacher. Unfortunately, both Kong and Lee are unfamiliar with the area and soon become lost. Together, they sit on a rock and start talking to each other about their future. While talking, Kong realizes that he really likes Lee and starts sketching her. Soon, the rest of the hiking group finds them and together, they return home. The next day, Kong asks Shi Yan why he returned home from the hike early, but the latter does not reply. To start a conversation, Kong reveals that he has really started liking Lee and is thinking of confessing his love for her. As soon as Shi Yan hears this, he stops and yells at Kong, suggesting that he needs to think twice before confessing anything to anyone. In the following scene, Lee goes to visit Shi Yan and asks him why he has stopped talking. Shi Yan tells her that there's no point in pursuing someone who doesn't care about him. One thing leads to another, and the two end up arguing. Shi Yan calls Kong a kid, and hearing this, Lee screams at him, prompting him to walk away. After a while, she has serious conflicting emotions. She is unsure whether to date Shi Yan or Kong. Later at night, Lee meets with her best friend Nam and tells her about her dilemma. Nam asks her the reason for liking Kong, to which she replies that she likes him because he lives near her and has been a good friend of her since childhood. Hearing this, Nam tells her that the reasons she gave are not solid enough to like someone. Rather, she suggests that Lee should be with Shi Yan as he cares for her, and that the whole school knows that something is brewing between them. Meanwhile, Shi Yan is at home where he notices his mother has overdosed on sleeping pills. Terrified, he immediately takes her to the hospital and messages his brother to accompany him. But surprisingly, the latter refuses, mentioning that he is busy. This causes Shi Yan to have a mental breakdown, but just then, Kong arrives at the hospital. It turns out that he had been following Shi Yan. Kong apologizes for his shenanigans, but Shi Yan doesn't speak a word and simply hugs him. 
A few weeks pass by and Kong can be seen studying hard and preparing for the entrance exam so that he can go to the same college as Lee. The tutor also keeps on reminding him about the girl whenever Kong feels demotivated and hesitates to read. In the next scene, all of the friends are sitting together talking about their time at school. Everyone is surprised to see Kim and Young speaking comfortably with each other and start assuming that something is going on between them. In the final scene, it is shown that the entrance exams are finished and that all of them scored high enough to get admitted to their dream colleges. Kong reaches Seoul and has started living alone, while Lee and Shi Eon are in the same college. The movie ends with Shi Eon troubling Lee, as he used to do with her, while at school.